Hello viewers, today we are going to perform the frequency modulation and demodulation experiment using IC8038 and phase lock loop IC565. Frequency modulation and demodulation process are used in analog communication systems which find real application is widely used FM radio. In this modulation process, the frequency of carrier wave is modulated by amplitude of an audio message signal to obtain frequency modulated signal. For demodulation of this frequency modulated wave, a phase lock loop is used. Today we are going to perform this experiment using trainer kit as shown in the screen. This trainer kit has 5 inbuilt sections. The first section is audio oscillator section which produces an audio frequency signal. The amplitude and frequency of this signal can be adjusted with the help of potentiometers provided in this section. The next section is an amplitude limiter section which limits the amplitude of input audio frequency signal with the help of an op amp. The third section is FM modulator section. In this section, with the help of IC8038, we will produce a FM signal. The carrier wave is produced by the 8038 IC itself, while the modulating wave will be provided by the input audio oscillator section. The fourth section is FM demodulator section using phase lock loop which will demodulate the FM signal and recover the message signal. The last section is filter and amplifier section which will filter out the noise present in demodulated wave and amplify the demodulated wave as required. Here we should note that all the ground terminals demarcated with green color are internally connected. Now let's start the experiment. Switch on the PC based oscilloscope. Switch up the Y channel of oscilloscope. Connect the ground terminal of oscilloscope to any ground terminal of the trainer kit and connect the audio oscillator to the X channel of the oscilloscope. Now switch on the trainer kit. We can adjust the amplitude of AF signal with the help of potentiometer provided for this purpose and similarly vary the frequency. Now connect the amplitude limiter sections input to audio frequency oscillator by patch cord. and its output to the FM modulator section. Then connect the output of FM modulator to oscilloscope Y channel. After that switch on the Y channel of oscilloscope. We can now observe the FM signal in Y channel of the oscilloscope. As we increase the amplitude of modulating AF signal or message signal, the degree of modulation will also increase. If we vary the frequency of AF signal, the frequency of FM modulated signal will also vary accordingly. Now connect the Y channel of oscilloscope to output of filter and amplifier section and connect the demodulator section to the modulator section output. Connect the filter and amplifier section by patch cords. Turn on the oscilloscope. After some adjustment with the help of potentiometer provided in the demodulator section, we can observe the demodulated wave in the Y channel of the oscilloscope. Now if we vary the amplitude of AF signal, then the amplitude of demodulated signal is vary accordingly. And similarly, if we vary the frequency of the AF signal, the frequency of the demodulated signal is responding accordingly. Hence, we can conclude that the FM wave is properly demodulated and AF message signal is recovered without any distortion. The complete operation manual of this experiment can be downloaded from the link given in the description box. If you really like this video, please hit the like button, share with your friends and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get notification first. For any product related information, please visit our website www.kalpunascientific.com. That's all for now. Hope to meet you soon with another informative video like this. Till then, bye bye.